yeah, 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 yeah. Nature's underground, nature's underground, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. YouTube, what is going on? It is Nature Boy 3000. I am back. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I just can't help but want to create some videos on this channel. This is such a great channel to be a part of. You know, we're here, we're making a movement out of absolutely nothing but a phone camera and another camera that we use that's Jonesy's camera. And we just got some mics. I'm not using the mic right now. Shame. I sh probably should be using the mic. I need to train myself to get in the habit of using it. But that's beside the point. There's no excuse not to create. It's like wherever you are, go ahead and press record. That's what I want to instill in our viewership is create, create, create. It's so important. And even if it's like you, you have an idea of something you want to share, but you're like, you know what? If I just press record and I just start talking, oftentimes the flow, just you find yourself in it and your words, they just flow. And it's a beautiful thing to be a part of that experience. And something that I've been thinking about this morning is vibration. Literally everything that goes on in this life all around us is a vibration. <clears throat> the thoughts that you think. The words that you choose to use, the people you surround yourself with, the water you drink, the food you eat, everything is amounting to a certain level or a certain degree of vibration that you have in your body. And being human beings, we have free will. Having free will, we have the choice to choose. Is this serving my vibration or is it diminishing it? Ask yourself that. Are these, when I, when I watch nature's underground videos, do I feel higher consciousness or do I feel like I'm moving down? I personally think you're probably moving up. If you're indulging in this type of content, I think that's a very good step in the right direction because you are now trying to find your way out of conventional being, out of everyone's methodology in a world where everyone says that it's normal to masturbate, where they say it's okay to release. It's okay as a man to drain your life force energy. That's what they would have you believe. Little do you know, or little do they know, or I'm sure they do know, which is why they're telling you to drain yourself, is the power that young men can have if we just simply keep retaining the confidence, the swagger, the decisiveness to get shit done and get after your goals. Don't you want that? Don't you want to feel that power inside of you innately that comes to you? Your God-given right as a man? Well, it starts with the daily habits of semen retention. Practices like that. That's what gets it all started. That's what gets the ball rolling. And when you go ahead and move up in your vibration, things really start to unfold for you. Because now you're like, okay, I'm on the practice of semen retention. Now what? What's the next step? So it's like from there, you go ahead and you go ahead and work on your verbiage in your own mind. Where am I limiting myself? What words could I be using better? Because literally everything that you say, everything that you do, you are, you can only be what you are. You can only become who you set your intention on becoming. And you become that person a little bit more every single day. It's not this huge shift in persona. But you just say, you know what? I would love to be that type of man. I would love to be this type of a man, this caliber. And you are going to attract what you are. So that's definitely worth it. If you become a high status, high value person and you just love yourself in your own eyes, you're going to attract a loving, high value person as well. Someone who respects themselves because you respect your resources. You respect your time. You respect your ability. You know what you're worth as a man. And I think that's why I'm falling in love with NoFap and with semen retention is because it's starting to let these young men know their value. Because for far too long, we have been told that we are subpar or that as men, we are just dogs or we have no control over our desires. 
And I think that is a stereotype that's gotten way too far out of hand because as young men, we all know that we're capable of so damn much. And it's like all a matter of getting out of our own way and just understanding the amount of potential that we all have and carry. And it's scary to hear that because it's like a wake up call. I'm not giving you an excuse here. I'm telling you, you know what? You have so much more that you can do. Why aren't you doing it? That's my question to you this morning. Why are you not getting after it? You know as a young man that you have so much damn power at your fingertips. And then it gets even more blatantly obvious when you go ahead and do something like retain. Because now you have all this life force in your body. And it has nowhere to go. Until you start getting some damn goals to start checking off. That's what I love about this as well. It will force you to have some goals and you will have no choice but to slay those goals if you stay the course because you'll feel absolutely crazy if you just sit around and do nothing. You will be spilling over with all this energy. You don't know you wouldn't know what to do with it. You won't know what to do with yourself. So fall back in line as a young man. Straighten this out. Handle this aspect of your life to the point where you are absolutely comfortable just retaining. And it's a natural feeling for you. You're comfortable having this high level of sexual energy and libido in your own body. And it just makes you this vibration of a man. And then go ahead and incorporate affirmations. There's nothing weird about that. Go ahead and listen to positive affirmations. Listen to warrior affirmations. Listen to business affirmations. Affirm what you want to become. Go ahead and decide, this is who I want to be. And then you go ahead and do the habits and practices that set you up to in alignment to be and become that person that you would love to be. It's as simple as that. And the hard part comes on executing it every single day, even when you don't feel like it. Because we're all human and we're all going to fall back on past loops and past habits. But it's all about recreating the type of person you want to be now, today. So get started. Let's do this. We can do this together. We're going to slowly, slowly, incrementally make small wins and get better and better and better. And keep creating, y'all. Keep going. I believe in you. I really do. Let's do this. Man, it's a beautiful life we live. I love y'all so much. Peace out. Nature Boy 3000.